Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris McKinnon with the WBZ News Update for you. Our top stories today, an industrial hygienist will be at an e-cigarette manufacturer in Salem after nearly 30 people there were hospitalized. Crews responded to thermal circuit last night. Employees reported trouble breathing, nausea, and burning eyes. Officials searched the building and say all meter readings came back normal. So far, the cause of the situation is still under investigation. A lawsuit is being filed today on behalf of an immigrant mother here in Massachusetts fighting to get her son back. Lydia Souza is staying with family in Hyannis while her nine-year-old son is being held in a detention center near Chicago. Souza's lawyer says she entered the U.S. from Brazil legally in May, but prosecuted for making an illegal entry and separated from her son. Her attorney held a press conference at Logan Airport a short time ago and says the boy needs his mother now. And the people holding him in Chicago have called my clients, or my client Lydia, and, and asked to calm, have her calm him down at times because he's so emotional. Susan's lawyer says he's heading to Chicago today and won't leave until he has the boy in custody. Now let's get a check of our forecast with meteorologist Danielle Niles. Hey, Danielle. Hey, Chris. A little sea breeze kicks in today. So temperatures at the coast, low 70s, 65 to 70 on the Cape and into the 70s inland. I still can't rule out a spotty shower. Mainly inside of 128 here through the afternoon. It'll be brief and passing, nothing all that substantial here, but there will be a few uh, ones around as we head into the afternoon to early evening. But most of us, you notice by 5, 6 o'clock, clear skies, no weather related issues for the ride home. What a beautiful day tomorrow, Jim. Low humidity, mid 70s to the coast, around 80 inland. Nice day Wednesday, two sun and clouds. Breezy and a little more humid. Thursday brings scattered showers and thunderstorms. And then the heat is on. Upper 80s on Friday. Some spots will touch low 90s, and that will be the start of a heat wave. We'll be well into the 90s both weekend days and humid, too. And it looks like the 90s, Chris, are going to stick around for the beginning and middle part of next week, too. So a pretty hot stretch. All right, Danielle, thank you very much. I'm Chris McKinnon. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.